we're going to continue here. Um, so now we got everything here, and we're going to save our model. And alternatively, we're going to save as a given unique name, such as something. Um, but we're going to save our model. Um, rename. We can just double click and rename it. All right. So a c l e d underscore select underscore to, and then we can run this tool one by one. And then we're going to. Oopsies! Didn't like it. All right. It's um why the name didn't change. We're going to um. Go to property. All right, the name here. We're going to change it again. A C L E C D E D underscore select underscore stick label name and label. All right. Let's just do camel. Doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. Click OK. There. And we're going to run it. And then go back to parameters. Click Edit. All right. All right. So we can run this tool. Um, and then we can see what happened first. Right click on it, add it. And then we're going to run this tool. Perfect. And then we're going to check it out and see what happens. And yeah, you got selected. Perfect. And um, auto layout. Okay. So. It was the whole Africa, and then we get for Rwanda, Rwanda, and we summarize the statistics. So a progress window appears to indicate the model status. You may also notice that each tool in the model turns red as it is processing. When the model has completed all the process, close the progress window, and we observe the map. Right, right here is the map. In the Rwanda layer, conflicts classified as violent against civilians are selected. And in the um, safe model, yes. Um, and in the um, let's see, right down here, we don't see Rwanda yet. Um, but in the project pan, open conflict. Right here, uh, we're going to do it again, um, and we do not see conflict. Geo database and notice it contains a new table. Where is our new table? Um, new table, select and summarize. Not this one. All right. We don't have our new table yet, so we're going to um, click open again. Um, right click on it, add it, and then going to let's see, add to display. There, so um, and our table is here. Why it's not added? Um, we have to see it from here. Um, double click this one. Where is the window? Resize it. Going to bring it back. Come on, come on. All right. Click open. Okay. All right here. Output. Where did it go? 
um it is in maybe it's not showing up here um but we could do the new version it didn't show up but here it's right here and maybe i have to go back here um let me see if it's in the folder i'm going to bring it back and conflict um da -da -da, geodatabase to database where is our Ruvanda? Ruvanda, Ruvanda, Ruvanda. It didn't show up here. Neither. Mm. And I have to see either it's the new version for our Jazz Pro because here the Ruvanda is not showing, but here it's right here, Ruvanda, and we can open attribute table. So anyway, uh, that's the statistics we got, and we're going to check it out. Um, and summary statistics is 132 um, that they gave it to us, but we have for Rwanda conflicts from, oh, this one, we only have a 1997 uh, to 2000, and then we get, we get for, uh, this one is 30. Um, oh, oh, that's why I summarized something wrong. All right, so uh, let's redo it again. Um, right click on it, click open. No, not open, add it, add it. And I have to add it this. So it's not fatality. Um, it's Rwanda, Rwanda, but the field uh, the field is event type and summary. Yes, click OK. And did I select this new selection? Yeah, click OK. Summary, um, Luanda. Yeah, mm -hmm. we will do in here, we will name it Luanda 2. Click save and then fill type, event type. Do we do it event type or the statistic? Oh, still fatality. Nothing wrong with that, but I just don't understand fatality. Fatality sum. Click OK and then run it again. Run it again. Inputs are not current, that's fine. Run it again. And we're going to validate, run everything. Uh, it's done. And then add to layer, add to display. It's this one then. Click open. The same result, 164. It should be fine. Data changes. Um, where do we get? Oh, right. We add the different layer. This is the layer folder. Um, but earlier did we add the layer one or we we, yeah, we use different one. So select by attribute. Let me go back and see. Do we put? layer file or shape file so even if we do the rwanda add it to the map not here let me close it out yes save the model and we're going to do uh in here then so um let's re redo everything um and and i think today we did a lot and um, so, but it's okay, we still got time to work on things. Um, and I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to uncheck this, uncheck this, I'm going to bring, um, Luanda. Alright, Luanda, and I don't have, do I have to show everything? Oh, it's already showed. 
um, let me collapse this, collapse this, collapse this, collapse this, collapse this. Um, and my Luanda 2 is right, right here. Open, it's one still, 64. That's fine. And then we go into model one, go into add it, and nothing is here. That's fine. We're going to get tools. Um, the first one is uh, select, select by attribute select by attribute and then the second tool is summary statistics okay and then we're going to close this out um the input layer is the luanda 2003 2003 luanda and select type new selection add a class um add a class and then this one is country, no, event type, event, 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 event type equals to um, violence against civilians. Click OK, click add and add a clause, right? Um, and then that's it. Um, and summer statistics input table is the Rwanda 2. Um, probably not this one. It changed it into one already. Um, and then I'm going to change this into Luanda R. Field is fatality. Fatality. And some click OK. And then I'm going to run. And then I'm going to add to display R. And going to open 132. Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, that's 132. All right. So that that was on page um 209. So this model was a simple one, and I'm going to save it. Um. So close this out, and my model is done, and my model check it out, and going to save it. All right. Uh. Then this is from 2003, not the two. 1997 for different things okay um that i have model can be simple uh as simple or as complex as needed so in real life we prefer the simple one the beauty of a model is that you can the beauty of the model of a model is that you can easily modify the input data set and and any tool parameter as necessary the model can be saved with a new name if desire and run on a new data set. It can be tweaked, refined, and added to whenever you want without having to start from scratch. You can also set model parameters so that the model can be run from a geoprocessing tool dialog box, which you will do, uh, I'm not going to do right do it right now um, so we can run a model into a standalone geoprocessing tool that can be easily shared and the processing repeated including changing the input output and variable so we're going to right click on the um, um, bring our model back at it and then we're going to right click on it uh, select parameter set it as a parameter right click on it and oval and then you can see with a P here and then right click on the select by attribute tool element the first yellow rectangle we're going to uh, right click uh, create variable uh, create a variable and we're going to say from parameter and then go to expression and then we're going to um, reorganize again um, I don't need the arc catalog but sometimes I need it um, and I don't need this right now so um, right click the summer statistic tool we did that and from parameter statistic field um, we're going to right click on here create parameter and from parameter statistic fields so and then we go into auto layout again set the final output as a parameter so right click on this and then we just click parameter um, and expression parameters 
this will be parameter.、Um, and 